franchises with so much history so much tradition AT&T Stadium, Brandon Aubrey has the honors and we are underway here in Arlington. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. First and 10 now from the 30. Here's Love looking to pass on the first play. This complete to the tight end, Tucker Kraft. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. Love this look to start the ball game. They empty the backfield right away, and that's going to put some early stress on both their offensive line and on the secondary. And here they get the completion and a quick first down. Now a first down carry by Jones. Oh, felt like that move deserved more than he got there. A gain of two. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. That's to Kraft, the tight end. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 41-yard line. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. Love going to give this one to Jones. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Second and seven. Now Love. A quick throw, but incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Throwing, love. And he is caught. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Nine yards on the play and a first down. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. 
The Wubs throw finds its target, Dobbs. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. Not the protect. detail they're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football love now to pass on first down he's got the hook up with Dobbs so the completion good for six yards and it'll be second down well that's not just his first not his second already his third completion here on the opening drive and I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game one of their top priorities and the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And Nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner, and that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. No receivers open downfield, so instead of forcing the ball to the sideline, He's going to throw this one down to Fort Worth. He'd rather have the incompletion than the turnover. Love now on second down. This one swung out here to Jones. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early, but they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. So off goes Love, on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is good. And the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. First look at the Cowboys' offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. Every time on first down, because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second.
From the 31, here's second down and five. Watch tight, tight is right. Watch tight. To throw is Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. A good decision in the end to pull and run, get some nine yards and a first. Well, that's a nice job right there. He's looking downfield, but with no one open, he takes off and tries to run for it. He gets to the sidelines and gets out of bounds with a first down. First and 10, Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A good pick up there, 26 yards. But certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. Prescott on first down. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Hang on now, we're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Pollard. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. I like the call. Inside the red zone, running the toss. Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guy's in the cornerback position. Pollard one more time. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Tony Pollard. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys are able to answer the early three points and take a first-quarter lead. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. So that drives seven plays in length, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Short throw. He's got Kraft. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's second and three. They'll try the right side with Jones. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, OK, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. On second down, it's Jones. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. See what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Love. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach in the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. Here's Prescott. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Usually see those guys out wide get called for holding on running plays here, passing play. Yeah, sometimes when you get this quick screen, bubble screen, anything where they're having to block for their fellow receiver, usually at the point of attack, and this time he got caught. Gains running the ball. If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. So from the 26-yard line, here's the second and eight. Let's go. Let's get this ball back for the offense. Let's go. Mike, Mike, check. 
Here's Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13. Down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. From 13 yard town. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre play, and they got it done there. Aubrey now for the point after. And this one's right through to make it a 14 3 ball game. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Nixon now from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. On second down, Love once more. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. The Packers on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten to pass. Here's Jordan Love. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Cavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. Oh, nice move. <laughs> a nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. 
So the drive's going to start with Pollard. Got a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Second down, Pollard again. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 40 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff, and when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't, but also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact, they're actually utilizing what they call the stream the next two to three seconds to continue to move people. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Prescott. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Prescott off play action. This is caught. It's Cooks. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 17-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. The partner that locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. He's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field. And that's very difficult for a defender to shove across all. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. That is caught inside the five. And the Cowboys are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run with Pollard, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys are able to stretch out their lead. Now, CD, that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. Aubrey now for the PAT. And it's 21 to 3. So the drive there took six plays. And it ends with a one yard touchdown run.
So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room. Yellow, 22. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. To throw now. Here's Love. Short throw. He's got Kraft. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And now one yard to go on third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Ready, set. Ready, go. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Tackle made that time by Chauncey Ghoston. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Play action this time with Love. And all oh, this is taking him one handed. What a catch! We know he has pretty good hands on display there. In fact, he only needed one of them. Yeah, nowadays, all these receivers work on this, right? They do the one-handed catches off the machine in practice. They do it with their quarterbacks. They do it contested, uncontested. They make it part of their repertoire. Third and two, love with it. Now this aired out deep for Reed. And it's a Packers touchdown. Jaden Reed, 51 yards. And the Packers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go. Uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Anders Carlson now for the point after. It's up and good, and the lead is down now at 11. It's 21 to 10. That time, a six-play drive, and it ends with a Packers touchdown.
So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. Dallas teammates ready again on offense. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Scott looks to throw on first. He gets it to Cooks. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pick up here toward the end of the first half. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. down Prescott they'll drop this underneath to Pollard the Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime here's second and seven Scott from the gun. High throw, but he makes the catch. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 43. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. And when your receiver is, say, 6'2 or taller, you get those big body guys, they're made for those fades, aren't they? They really are. It's the exact call you want. You nailed it. Big body guys, big catch radius. Put the ball up there. Put Let up him get the, it. Yeah, put up on the top shelf where the kids can't go get it. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. To the air again, Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Cowboys! Two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys would extend their lead here just before halftime. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Aubrey now for the point after. And the lead is up to 18 now. Five plays there on that drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb.
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Taken at the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. from the 34 here's second and four out of the shotgun it's love the left side completion to jones and he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. seven yards there and a first down it's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. First down, going to the air with Love. That's complete to Dobbs. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Final play of the half, Love able to find his man, Kraft. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 43. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, back to you, too, in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half for running back Tony Pollard. He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. This fielded right at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Second half begins with a run by Pollard. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? From the 32-yard line now, here's a second and seven. 
Here's Pollard again. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Prescott now. Swinging this out for Pollard. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Two yards on the pickup there, and it's second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. On second down, it's Pollard. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job standing in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Let's see the Packers defensively six DBs, so a dime look on third. Could play coverage or bring pressure. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. To me, the defense was looking a little gassed near the end of the first half, but they've come out of the locker room with a little extra spring in their step. Wonder what they did at halftime to get them so motivated. I don't know, but that sack looked good. Now let's see if they can build on the momentum of that play. Here's Brian Anger now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. the huddle lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 18 they'll come out throwing here to start the drive well the pressure gets to love and he'll go down Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack and they weren't in zone coverage they were in man and each man did his job and that looked like vintage old school coverage didn't it Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Love now. And that's going to be incomplete. 
this defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Love looking to throw it. A check down here to Jones. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? On now is the Packers punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. A little juke. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 37. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Gets around him. Oh, he's got some breathing room. There he goes again. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard, 63 yards. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. I know I should keep the focus and the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. Aubrey now for the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Well, I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, this defense, they've got the four-score advantage, and you can see why they continue to bottle up the run game, and really they've just been sharp in all facets here in this one, CD. Yeah, they've kept that offense in check the entire game, and I think it's been led by what you just talked about, that defensive front, which has not allowed them to run the football and establish control of the line of scrimmage. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Working out of the gun. Love. 
Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great, I'd like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home, <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. A first down throw for Prescott. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. It's Preston Smith. He gets the sack there. No question that was needed by the defense because they're already trailing by a couple of scores. They had to get off the field without allowing another one. That sack on the first play, that may have derailed this drive. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. So the false start will back them up five. Not a great start to this drive. You had the sack, now the false start. I mean, it doesn't take much to either read lips or just imagine what the head coach is saying right now. Get your head in the game, guys. Let's go. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Prescott. Open man, right side, it's Lamb. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. He's going to find Gout up here complete and able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Here comes Reed. A 39-yard punt, a return of five. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now? is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Go. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll send Reed in motion left. And now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Jones. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. 
Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Dallas, Texas is the spot. Third quarter inside AT&T Stadium. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. Now Love. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long, but a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 more yards there and another first down. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will swing as the third quarter has turned with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Here's Love. He'll complete this one to Watson. And he's going to be taken down. But there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold or did they rough the quarterback? Okay, so the personal foul penalty, and those are some important yards lost right there. Yeah, it all comes down to discipline, doesn't it? And every team tells us that they coach it, they preach it. In this case, it slipped a little bit. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Throwing, love. Caught on the right side by Jones. Touchdown! Aaron Jones, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Packers are able to cut into that deficit. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to 18. So that drive, four plays. And the result, a Green Bay score. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. Kevontae Turpin now to return. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard but it's tough to simulate game speed in practice and that often runs you into a penalty. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 15. Pollard gets it off the option and he edges forward but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. 
This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. 125 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they get five there on third and two. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Yeah, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They go back to Pollard on second down. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Tackle made by Devondre Campbell. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. From the 44-yard line, here's a second down and six. Vaughn, they'll try the left side. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Two straight four-yard runs, and it is steadily working the ball downfield. To me, they're staying right on schedule. First down, you want four yards or more to set up the rest of the drive. They're getting exactly that. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Option play. Here's Pollard. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Prescott now, option right. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. 
They'll try to throw now. Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And that's good for a gain of six. And it brings up third and five now. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. Pollard will take it up the gut. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 166 yards rushing for him now as this sensational afternoon continues. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. First down, and it's Pollard again. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Well, they'll come up second and seven. Going to run again here with Pollard. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Prescott to throw it. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Well, they made the play there, and I'll guarantee you their coaches and the other players are screaming at them about their pride. Come on, guys. He's already gotten in three times. You can't give up a fourth one. And on that play, they were able to make the stop. And you knew they were going to go to him to try to get that fourth. And why wouldn't they? It's not just getting the fourth. He's the hot hand, so to speak, right? The hot feet in this situation. And he knows how to find the end zone. That time, he just dipped there. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And to be frank, Charles, probably not too many people surprised at how this one turned out. Yeah, I don't think so at all. I mean, they're such a good football team. They were at home. You know, you walked in and you looked at the advantages and you saw that they had most of them. It took a lot to try and even it up. I just thought two words for this ball game: methodical and predictable. And both of them came together. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.